the patriotism there. But uh, here they come then. Carsten Magerson and Joachim Fischer Nielsen up against here. Tang Chun Man and Lord Jacob. Expected. I mean, Fisher Nielsen, of course, uh, mixed doubles. You know, what a wonderful partnership, Christina Pedersen. But we we do have two Olympic medal winners here on court yeah. from uh, London. But as you say, similar kind of styles, really. All the mixture work and be enough for them to see off a, an in inexperienced. Let's put it bluntly, a very inexperienced Hong Kong pair. Yeah. Experience is going to be, yeah, it's going to be vital, I think. But 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 you, you know, the, the good thing for the Danish pair is that Karsten used to playing with a left-handed Matthias, and Boss Fischer is uh, is left-handed as well, so that's not going to be a problem. The only thing I can see being a problem is this: who's going to take, who's going to take those rushes to the net and take the front court? So. And it's worth it's worth repeating because people joining us all the time and they maybe not know the news why is Matthias Bo not out there alongside Carsten Mogensen. And there is Carsten. Well, the reason being he's had a hernia injury, had to uh, go to hospital, have an operation, and is going to be out for a few weeks. That happened just on Tuesday, I think it was, that uh, they noticed there was a problem. So uh, Fisher Nielsen is his new partner for the week. Yeah, but they played together before in league matches and stuff like that. But this is a different. Uh, How much have they played together in those? They used to play in the same team, so they were on the same team for like five, six years. So they okay. They have. It's not the first time they're on court together. That's that's maybe also an important thing. Yes. Um, but but you can say Fischer has not been practicing with you know with Carsten so much up to here because. He probably wasn't going to play Why that would much. He? Yeah, <laughs> but he wasn't probably going to play that much. When was the last time they played the league matches together? You know, oh, that's probably a year ago or one and a half year ago. Okay, so not too long uh, ago. They were on the same team, um, and in this year they, last year they played each other in the final of the league in mixed doubles. Um, Fisher came out of that one successful. But he's he's a very very good doubles player as well. Well, there is uh, Tang and Lee. Another scratch pairing. So it's interesting that you know you have Lee Chun Hei here alongside Tang. Yeah. And uh, maybe you might have seen him alongside uh, Carl Long earlier, seeing as they won the World Juniors together. But uh, obviously, they're probably, you know, probably on two, two, two. What they've been practicing up to this tournament, they probably thought that they have a chance in this one. But come to think of me, I need. Uh, Maybe I'm getting old, I don't know, but I'm actually, I'm actually have been practicing a lot with Joachim Karsten, but he is playing. <laughs> and we normally play a set each with each other, so they do have played a lot with each other. <laughs> I just forgot I was on the other side. So very interesting. Point of the match. Nothing he can do now. Uh, sit and watch and hopefully watch right. his men. Stand well. Double seven five. Get the job done here. Morganson and Jordan Fisher Nelson. And on my left, Hong Kong China. Double seven five. Chung Man Kang and Chung Hei and Lee. Uh, Denmark to Seoul. Captain Morganson to Chung Hei Lee. Love all. 
play. One low. Well, Lee Chin Hei putting it in the net. He was low. the one who was uh, alongside Chao Hoi Wa winning the uh, Asian Badminton Championship. So uh, he's part of a, a good mixed doubles pair like Yuak and Fisher Nielsen. They're up to number so 10 so in the world now after one, that win. Two. The Danish Cuba Cup team They're out there supporting the men. I think we've already seen this a little Three, bit what we talked go. about or what I talked about is that you see that Carsten and, and, and Joachim is in defense all the time so and, and smart play by the, the, the Hong Kong pair playing into the net. Oh. Good flick set. Very good. Go, go. Point as well Three, for the Danes. Nelson, Nelson, Nelson. Let the shuttle fall down. Let the shuttle fall down. Play. There you have it again. So we saw. You can see, you can almost see that Three. Joachim is not used to being out there. So smart play by by Lee, just playing it nice and easy into the net. See. Victor is, uh, yeah, Victor. Joachim is almost moving backwards. Um, so, good tactic by the Hong Kong pair. Yeah, the Hong Kong so pair so combined so age so of 39. <laughs> Joachim 35 at the other end. <laughs> right. yeah. He wouldn't want me to remind him too much of that, but no. They are making a terrific Seven, start four. here, Lee and Tang. Six, four. Just the start they would have wanted, given what Wayne Nan did in the previous singles match. And suddenly, a straightforward Don't tie and uh, service over. Five, called. six. <laughs> that helps yeah. for Denmark. Yeah, because uh, Carsten uh, didn't move, so he, he showed that he wasn't ready. So that was really lucky. It was oh. incredible how a, a, a really straightforward tie. Suddenly, all it takes is one player one not to be at their game 100% or yeah. a, one of their opponents to rise to the occasion, and suddenly it's uh, throwing an injury or two, and yeah. suddenly, well, we have, we have got two injuries in yeah. bed, haven't we, to deal with for Denmark. That's long from Tank. Seven, six. And, uh, Robinson and Nielsen. Slight lead now. Okay. Now you see Joachim is going forward now, he's taking that. What can you say? That role that Matthias normally has. <laughs> or Christina. Or oh, Christina, yeah. Uh, I think that's, that's the best way for the Danes. I don't think Carsten, he, he doesn't want to go up there. So I think Fischer has to force himself to go forward to get that lift. Oh, lucky. So it's over. Seven, eight. So 
Nelson, Nelson. 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 From a good start from Hong Kong and the Danes have come in and they're controlling it now. Oh! Let me see. Just like so it Eight, ten. Yeah, the important, as we said, they are an experience, but important for the Hong Kong pair. And I'm sure they're aware of the coaches have been telling them how to work it, but if they can right. try and get Mogensen to the front of the court, yeah. they might have a chance to profit. So it's over. No, they did the right the thing. You can see as soon as it was a little under the net of oh, that cast lifted away, and that's a good position for the Hong Kong pair to be in. So, so right tactic. Two scratch pairings, and it's the Danish pair of uh, Mogensen and Fisher Nielsen who have a 11 8 lead early stages. Court one, 20 seconds. Court one, That's 20 big. seconds. And the, Danish, the Danish Uber Cup team. Mia Blickfeld on the on the on the Thank right, you. and Sandra Marie Jensen on the left. Mia Blickfeld is actually only the youngest girl ever to win the Danish Nationals this year. So 16 Eleven, of eight. eight. 15 or 16. Play. Yeah, I think she's 16, but yeah. Uh, yeah. Great for her to have the experience of playing in uh, one of these events as well. Service over. 9 11. But this is uh, uh, a very intriguing stage of this overall match. Service over. 12 9. So it's, uh, oh no, it's just it's just long. I beg your pardon. Yeah, yeah. So it's a good flick serve, though. Yeah. Ten, twelve. Oh, it's two serves. So it's over. Thirteen. Hong Kong ten. can't afford that. missing there was no, it he was on a mission there <laughs> so you can see it helps sometimes to hit hard oh, that's good lead for the Danes but not an insurmountable one right now Uh, Jonas Rasmussen at the uh, last Thomas Cup did uh, 
Christian Nielsen. Yeah, and, and eventually we ended up Carsten playing with, with Rasmussen. Um, oh, Bogo swing there. Uh, Bogo didn't 15. have his best uh, Thomas Cup at that time, so they lost you know, a lot of bit of matches there. So they, they took the chance with actually uh, playing out, and that's what you see sometimes at the Thomas Cup. That you, the team took you know, different players together that like actually can perform in this. You also have this thing that when you've been together as a pair for a long time. Notice you, your partner's mistakes Late. all the time, oh, again and again and again, you know. And then if you split up, you have this, you know, you have to fight for each other again. And you sometimes see... You know, playing with a new partner too. Everything's new. It's exciting. Um, they defended well there, though, didn't they? Stop, stop. 16, 12. Professional performance so far from Wigginson and Fisher Nielsen here. Oh. Oh. Too much of that from yeah. the Hong Kong perspective. Yeah. Tang and Lee just haven't been able to. Especially since the interval, they, they, they've uh, seen a few errors creep in. But they're also really, really good at playing well in defence. Uh, Matthias, oh, not Matthias, Joachim and, uh, and Carsten. And they look comfortable in defence now, so that's not going to help. You can see even there. In the, and now Carsten, you can see he's relaxed now. He, 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 can, he, he, he plays into the net as well now and goes forward, so they are in deck control right now. I just find it interesting that Hong Kong put in two scratch pairs when they have pairings there I mean they have three possible pairings really that yeah. have played together before and yet they've gone with two scratch pairings we'll have to ask the coach that one it's over. I, don't, 19, I don't really get it either. Um, especially when you see they actually have a great chance now yeah so there must be sitting some coaches thinking <laughs> 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 I mean, it's a very young double squad. They think they will the thing that Game points here, seven of them for Denmark. And there it is. Joachim Fischer Nielsen puts it away. Very, very good performance. And they've grown in confidence as well, Denmark. 21 points to 13. It just got better as that game went on. So confirmation, Denmark edging towards winning the overall tie. Merkinson and Fisher Nielsen, 21 points to 13 against Tang and Lee. Well, I think uh, everyone breathing a little easier in the Danish camp now. But it also, it's of course it's good here and now, but but it also shows that Denmark has a lot of things to do over the next five to ten years because they still need 
guy who's 36 and a guy who's over 30 to come in and and finish it off. And it's not because Matthias, he's also up there. Yeah. Uh, we have an extra pair here who's called Kim Astrup and Anas Rasmussen. Uh, well, if it had to be real, they had to play now, you know, they are a pair. But simply hasn't found the next ones yet. Um, so we as Danes <laughs> has to enjoy it now because that's going to be more difficult down the years. Although there is talk, seconds. and obviously this is purely Court speculation one, on my part, but it's been written in the press that there may be a change to the format of the Thomas and Uber Cup where uh, his own matches so it was only actually well, three matches you still you know you still need you know i wouldn't say as mass mass calling and mass conrad is ready to take over for matthias and and uh, carsten either so there is no matter what we need a men's double yeah, second game all, uh, to see what Come happens on. when uh, Play. the babbitt world federation decide in uh, the weeks to come. Oh. So that so will be so down to two singles and men's doubles. Now. That's right, yeah. yeah. Well, that should be exciting as well. Yeah, I think. Uh, I think they're also thinking about. They talked about the change in the score system there. Yeah. So yeah. I which think they also think is a good idea. Yeah, I think they're interesting proposals, but obviously. Uh, Those are called. At the moment, just proposals. So one off. Two serves into the net, hasn't it? Yeah. In this match from Hong Kong. Uh, tricky serve Three, to the side of two. the court. But the users serves out wide. Difficult to return. Also, we've seen three rallies. Oh, I wouldn't call them rallies. We see three points in a row here, and it hasn't been a rally. <laughs> exactly. Uh, yeah. Non rallies. Non rallies, yeah. See, so there you go again. There you go again. So but it's very up. much uh, been a feature in the recent times with men's doubles. I mean, yeah. it can be the most enjoyable. It used to be. Discipline uh, to for watch. Me it used to be. It not be and it's not because I played it, but <laughs> it used to be. Uh, for me, it used to be the best event, uh, where you had rallies, you know, smashing and defending and flat play. But you know, it's 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 gone away, and then I think they. Well, I've talked with with people before about it, but you know, you need to do something about the service situation. Players have become so good in it, but they need to change it. Maybe so you know? I, I could see maybe the, the you see the double line there, service line. Maybe take that away uh, to get the rally going. Um, so they could serve high to the back and the guy who returns can't stand so far up on court. Well, that could be a... Mm -hmm. we, just, we just need to get the rally going. Uh, and that's, you know, getting further than that first shot. As soon as we see rallies getting uh, away from the first shot, well you will have rallies. Uh, but there's too many that finishes with the third and the fourth shot. And even the first shot. Little shot, Mogensen putting it away. Five all now in this second game. That's good shot. putting it away. Six, five. Dang, dang, dang. Dang, dang. No Oh, 
pressure. Brilliant. Seven, Tanner five. really finding the angle there. Bit of start from Hong Kong. from Carson on the back. Seven, all. Tan doing the right thing now though. As soon as she gets a chance, she tries to to play Fisher at the net, but this time Fisher's ready for it. Close the gap. Riding high on confidence after his winner a couple of weeks ago. First Hong Kong pair to win the gold medal at the Asian Badminton Championships. So just been not enough consistency from them throughout the game. There's been some really good moments, but they've been few and far between. Yeah. I need we've got a good credit to, to the Danes, I think, you know, they are they're not letting him play yeah, their game. It's true. See that so wide again. Something and this is not just something he does, that's something they've talked about and seen on video against against Lee here that serving him wide and serving difficulties. Um tight again in the uh, first half of this game of course in the second half of the last game the Danes stretched away oh. 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 Ten, just hit the nine. tape before Carsten returned it impossible to return so like that Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little bit of comeback here, finally. Again. So, so there we go. Nine, Hong Kong have an interval lead. 11 points to nine for Tang and Lee. A little bit quieter down in the Danish camp. Uh, the way they're playing now is it's very good. Yeah. That was an easy pickings for Tang. I mean, all day long I'm going to take those, but. It's, uh, 20 seconds. Back to a, an intriguing Court situation. One, you still feel, seconds. don't you, though, that Shank, Shank, there's going to be no panic from Fisher Nielsen here and Mogensen that they'll believe they yeah, can but get that, it done. That, 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 let's put five years on Tan and Lee each. Then it would be because they played quite well here now. So can Seven, nine, Tag and Lee force this eight. to a third game? Game down, but with the interval lead here. But I think for the, I, I think I made that five times in this match. They've uh, can't afford that. They've made a f an error on the serve.
it's out. Questioning look from Fisher Nielsen. No challenge. Or, no. Yeah, Interaction a little bit more with the coaches. Things. You also see in that rally uh, everything. It's not totally how it's supposed to be. It's better. So it's over. 11, 12. See, that's it's on the front court now. The, 13, the Hong Kong players 11. controlling things. They know that Fisher and Mogens is not that sharp at the net, so they keep going forward, getting these drives. Service over 12 13. So it's over. 14, 12. Lee, Lee, Lee. Not on the face. No. Oh, okay. So it's over. 13, 14. Fantastic standing. 13. Very smart. Time for Denmark. <laughs> Definitely not going about the, the way they wanted to go. They're playing really well. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's and a four point 17, need here now for 30. the Hong Kong pair. And anything can happen in a third set. Anything. Well, and you have to say anything can happen in the overall match now, really. We've. Uh, mentioned before that it's uh, Denmark's number four player really that's playing a, a rookie in terms of Emil Holst with Wittinghouse having a, a little bit of a foot injury they need to change the momentum now the Danish pair <laughs> the problem Fisher has been having a problem with his serve though, so and that's one thing that needs to be in order to come back. <laughs> Wasn't gonna let that one go. <laughs> that four point deficit I think the swarm's going out anyway but yeah but he wasn't <laughs> <laughs> best to make sure eh? so. this is a very Late. very ah. important ah. point one point gap or three point gap ah. it's one point gap I see the, the serve how vital it is Serving really well now, Fisher, so he can get into that third shot. Oh. Oh. Big 
point coming up. And again, same thing. <sighs> Just so, didn't so. put it off that time, Oganson. 16. Just, just long. So we saw what? 17, 18. Yeah, I was going to say that. Oh. Let's see if this wide serve is not coming now. No. Yeah. He's debating that this, I think it was Lee who was looking at the, the screen there is here in the arena to see if uh, it was in out before he made the chat, he wanted to make the challenge. So that was just so wide again. Oh. It's actually, it's make, makes a lot of uh, uncharacteristically for, uh, mistakes here. He should be the one, you know. The routine, you know, and that was it's made two really, really bad mistakes. Let's land it in, and it's game points for game Tang point. and Lee here. And my goodness me, it really would be match on if they could take this. Tang with another <laughs> serve into the net. What a moment to do it. Uh, oh. 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 Is he going to be thinking about Wait. that one later on? Well, not just that one, <laughs> I think. <laughs> All five? Yeah. Six? Seven? Let's see if he's here. Bouncing on it quickly, oh. and the Kay. smash from Tang, good enough. Seven and game. goodness me, bye bye. maybe, Almost maybe we can have a Kay real upset bye. here on one the opening off. morning of the Thomas Cup because Denmark suddenly have some work to do. The Hong Kong pair of Tang Chung Man and Lee Chun Hei have taken the second game 21 points to 19 and we're heading for a deciding third with the match 2-1 overall. Well, it's right in the melting pot now. Definitely, yes. Oh, in, in, in the third set here, with the running score and everything, the start of the game is going to be so, so important. something really to play for here from looking as if Denmark were going to cruise to 3-0 up Victor Axelsson's defeat and his uh, match against Wei Nan meant suddenly it was all down to the scratch pairings to see whether we would good one 20 go seconds all the way through to a fifth good one. decisive Twenty match seconds. in this tie and we could still have that possibility, couldn't we? Yeah. We definitely have a, a game now. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, that's, to that's the mental part of the game hope. as well. <laughs> Well, a very Final crucial game. match. Love all. Very crucial Play. match indeed. And here we are in the third and decisive oh. game in the second of the men's doubles. That's just long. 
First point to Denmark. One blow. And able to really just get the shuttle back at all, reacting off the net, but uh, slight advantage. Hong Kong lead in the men's doubles, albeit by one point. Unbelievable. Yeah. Fastest first shot, amazing, even better by Lee, and then look there, that is amazing, and then he. <laughs> And that's, he's not even over. You could have been called for fall there, but that was perfect. But he doesn't like it up Four, there. Three. You can see they've been talking about that returns of serve is going to go towards casting up the net. Yeah, he's not in his comfort zone there, is he? No. here for Lee chun Hay and Tang chun Man to give Hong Kong a fighting chance. And you have to say a fighting chance of the quarterfinals. They definitely have, and, and you know, just I mean, picture yourself being in Emil Host's uh, shoes right now. Yeah, I mean, I do mean, you think he sits here and, and <laughs> hopes that these guys are going to win this one? I think <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, what a way to make your Thomas Cup debut if it's 2-0. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and you have to win. Five, oh. And on the other side, the Hong Kong players, of course, looking at this. It's a, a big, big upset. Well, I mean, if listen, it's a long way to go, and obviously, Mokinson and Fisher Nielsen may wrap it up here and now, but it would throw this group wide open if Hong Kong did happen to turn this one around and win now the umpire obviously saying to uh, Lee that you need to be ready yeah good call good call I would say we do we need to take these breaks out of men's doubles but it's funny enough Carsten makes all the mistakes and he's, he's supposed to be the guy that you know had the routine in this well you say that you mean because he's playing men's doubles and not yeah. mixed doubles but he's not in his routine though, is he? He's not, but, but, but. But, uh, but he's just, you know, he's a silver medalist at the uh, uh, Olympic uh, in men's doubles. He should be taking, you know, charts of this and showing Joachim, you know. I think it's more Joachim at the minute who's showing it. But we all have those days, of course, where nothing works. Couple of points That's better. That. <laughs> Maybe you heard me. <laughs> Maybe so. Am I talking that loud? I actually have commentated a few events where the players have heard me. <laughs> it is pretty awkward, but I think, I think we're far enough away here. As long as it's helping, it's okay.
fact, at Wimbledon last year, I got a message from the umpire. <laughs> Can I keep it down a bit? <laughs> that was on court two at Wimbledon. Fantastic shot and a terrific point to win for Denmark. Touched it. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's a tight affair, isn't it? This one. Oh. No one really has the momentum here. He can grab the initiative. That's uh, going to be key, isn't it? Down to who's gonna get that gap. Who's gonna get that runner points that gives them that freedom to to loosen up a little bit. Yeah, the last eight points. Oh, great serve. Oh. Service over. Just in. But it was Nine. called a uh, service fault. So <laughs> it's difficult. Yeah, no, no one's won two points in a row now no. for ten points. Oh, so. Oh. A lot of nerves going on now. And you can see Tang just suddenly <laughs> calm it down. Try and calm it down. One game more, ten points up. It's wide. Denmark with the very, very thin edge. In this decisive third game, all still to play for with Fisher Nielsen and Mogensen leading 11 points to 10. Enjoying themselves anyway. One, 20 seconds. But, uh, Thank you. They'll be less Good. relaxed in the Thomas Cup camp Thank right you. now. Time, time, time. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm not sure we were expecting too much Seven, excitement ten. on the first Eight. morning of the Thomas Cup, but uh, well, we're getting a little bit of here, aren't we? Uh, decisive oh. third game very close indeed it's one game all 11 points all now and with the overall match in the balance and remember this side that the Hong Kong pairs on now they've really played well in second set so seem to be good in defense and not being afraid of playing the front court This one from Lee Chin Hei. Oh. Oh. Through the legs, wasn't it? Yeah, you can see that. That's fantastic. So it's over. Almost got over. We can just see both uh, 
Both Tannerlees coming forward after the attack. They, they know that Carsten and, and Fischer can't defend long because it's going to go wide or go out on the back. So, smart play by the Hong Kong pair. That's why. A little bit of luck. Mighty fine effort, wasn't it? Yeah. That was out by March. I think <laughs> Jokic was quite happy that went off. Now we have a two-point gap. 14, 12. It's going to be interesting from now on to see how both are going to cope with that. Yeah, it's the first time we've had a two-point gap since the very early stages of this game. It's a three-point lead, and maybe, yeah. just maybe, this is the initiative game for Denmark that they so crave in this second men's doubles match. Short and punished. Playing a lot of shots to the net now, soft shots, forcing the Hong Kong pair to try and attack that instead of where they gave them pace in the in the second game. Smart, smart move by the Danes. Need to have a little bit more patience, the Hong Kong pair. She's soft shots. Well, that's not a soft shot. <laughs> but the build-up, <laughs> it's the build-up is the nah, soldier. I, I took your point totally. <laughs> Nelson, 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 Nelson. Yeah. It's, uh, well, a much more comfortable looking okay. scoreboard from a Play. Danish perspective. Yeah, for sure. 15, 18. Nielsen, a winning shot which leaves Denmark two points from victory. Match points have arrived for Mogensen and Fisher Nielsen. Here comes the oh. Oh, oh, oh. I have to say, here comes the winning shot, but not to be. I wasn't expecting that from Fisher Nielsen. Oh, there's two coaches down there. I wish that that wouldn't have happened. <laughs> Still, four points to play with. Well, relief as much as joy for Denmark. 
They have uh, won the overall tie here. Thanks to Carsten Mogerson and Joachim Fischer-Nielsen. They were made to really work for it by Tang and Lee, but they came through in this decisive third game, which means now they cannot be caught, Denmark. 3-1 they Denmark lead with just the final men singles to come. Relief all round. Well, they missed out on the uh, previous match point, but they took it here. The coaches can celebrate. The job against Hong Kong is done. So final score, two games to one for Mogensen and Fischer-Nielsen. 21-16 in that final game. For a moment in this match, uh, it looked like we might be heading for a fifth of decisive rubber, but uh, two scratch pairs and a pretty good match. It was a good match. And that's, I think that's a young rookie now sitting down there, he's a little bit more relaxed now. Looking around him, yeah. yeah. Interesting to see uh, whether, obviously, there may be bigger fish to fry in men's doubles matches to come for Fisher, Nielsen and Mogensen, but I suppose each match they'll gain more experience playing yeah. at this level. Yeah, and, 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 and they had all to lose here too, you have to remember. Uh, I think from now on they have all to win. This pair, this, they, they have to be, it should be, so, and they did beat them. I think they gave them a little bit more of a fight than they would. They thought they would do. 21. Thirteen, they took the first game, but uh, that came the pair from Hong Kong 21-19 in the second, which meant it was uh, down to a third and decisive game. And some real hope for Hong Kong that maybe they could pull off a shot, not just in this actual men's doubles match but in the overall tie with uh, the final men's singles to come but victory here for Mogensen and Fisher Nielsen means as uh, Jim was saying uh, they can do a little easier Emil Holst Dead rubber, if you like, coming up. So a victory for the Danes. No more senses than one. So just the men's singles to come. Let's A very good men's doubles match, wasn't it? Denmark. Just about seeing off their Hong Kong opponents. Here's some of the uh, match stats. And as you can see, Denmark, maybe surprisingly, winning more points at the net. Yeah. Tactics next game for the Danish Uber Cup team. Or maybe just news back home, I don't know. <laughs> or contracts, <laughs> <laughs> could be anything. But you're right, it probably is a, the coaches will give them some notes, won't they, and tactics yeah, and things they, like Yeah, they that. would have talked about it before, they would have watched video and so.
smile. Very popular team, apparently. <laughs> so that's the overall score in the tie, which means that uh, Denmark know they have beaten Hong Kong, but we still will have the fifth rubber, but not a decisive one now. So let's just run you through uh, some of the scores so far from this match. Comfortable win for Jorgensen, and you have to say the Maz of uh, holding in. Peterson also looked comfortable, but then that defeat for Victor Axelsson against uh, Wei Nan, which meant that men's doubles tie that we just saw was uh, pretty crucial with uh, Denmark going with Emil Holst up against Wong Wing Ki in this final men's singles match. Well, he looks relaxed, doesn't he, Emil Holst? Uh, I wonder how he would have looked if Denmark hadn't have won. Not like that. That match. <laughs> <Stumbles match. laughs> Not yeah. like that. No. But now you can see he has a good chance to, you know, be a little bit more relaxed and. Uh,